Well, cool. You can use it for a shovel also. Hey everybody, Arizona Kid here today. Uh, we have the Honda Foreman 520 out here. Uh, we are doing a, another Kimi Moto product uh, gun holder. For your uh, front rack, well, I guess it could be your back rack. It could be either. It could be anywhere you want it. You could even put it on your handlebars. You can even put it on your handlebars on your bicycle. That's that's kind of like I why well, like I picked this brand on it. Now, uh, it does come in just a simple package. Just remember that. I will also put the link into the description for this product because there is a a bunch of Kimimoto uh, gun rack holders. It's just not this set. So, uh, and we'll get a zoom on uh, picture of this, but I picked these because it has this loop on it. Uh, there's other designs uh, that actually like clamp. I'll maybe put a picture of that one right here, right now. So now that you've seen that one that clamps underneath, I don't think that's a bad product, uh, but I'll explain why I chose this one over the other one. So let's get to installing it and then we'll explain why I picked this one over the other one. So let's go, oh wait, real quick before we just jump ahead, I also wanna show that it is, if you look at it, there is this solid metal, it looks like it might be stainless steel, all this looks like it might be stainless steel. It does have solid metal rod that goes up, it is, Flexible though, so you can see that it actually makes it where I can take this bungee off a lot better. It does, I feel, I feel like I'm doing one of those hand grip things, but it does flex, so I assume it will flex also the other way a little bit. But it's very sturdy, the rubber feels very soft on it. Very, uh, and we're gonna put a bow and a rifle in here, so we'll see how it, how it holds. So let's get to the it does have these little bungees that when you put your gun in there, and I'll show all that later, that it does hold it in there. So we'll get to all that. Let's get to installing it. So I got you guys moved in here close now, and I want to show you the reason why I picked this kind over the other kind. So this I could choose to put, I want to make sure you guys can see, I can choose to put like this. I can choose to put like this. Now it does take a 3 8 wrench to do this. I a 10 would be kind of the same ballpark, but a 10 was too big, so 3 8 fit better on the, the nuts it comes with. But if I do it on this side and that's down there, I'm gonna be hitting this. So I think I'm gonna mount it like this where I have more show you it this way. So I have more open ended area to install it. Now, the other kind that has bolts that, it's hard to explain it, but let me actually tear off a piece of paper like this. So this would be how it would clamp down, and then it would have nuts that would come up, up this way. You know, let me grab some nuts real quick. Sorry, I'm back real quick. Uh, so I just wanna grab, oh, this is another thing on here. This is just my idea. So uh, they do two nuts on it. I This is a nut that has nylon in it. I wish they would just made a nylon nut. I mean, that's just my recommendation. I wish they just would have did that. This is a different thread than that one. So I can't use my nylon nut. I have to use their nuts. I don't have a nylon and that'll work on it. But anyways, back to the other holder. So the other holder, they have it where like like a bolt would go i'm just pushing it through the paper to kind of demonstrate it'd have a holder like that and the 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 it usually goes over a bar like that it would still have you know this part on top of here like this you know if i took this off you might it might look a little bit better to show you guys or make more sense but i gotta take these nuts off anyways to put it on so no big deal to show you. Whoop, there's that little guy going. So anyways, so we're gonna go back to the other design. 
and it's not just Kimimoto. Uh, other brands make it too, but it would it'd be like this. It, it'd be like it had like a square holder on it, and the nut would go right there. And then you got to go underneath, underneath crazy. I don't know how to even show you. See, it's already painted to, to get the the nut in there, and then to tighten it. I, and then there's also another clamp like this that's got to go underneath and hook together. I just think. I've seen people buy those. I actually had a friend buy one and we installed it. What a pain in the butt. It, I just felt like this design was better for me and uh, that's why I picked it. So here we go. Let's get her installed, guys. It's, it's not really hard. I'm picking right here and I'm going to do the same spot. Like I said, the reason just because it looks best. I mean, I could put it over here if I wanted a wider stance. I could put it over here. I mean, it'll go to any bar you want it to go to. You know, uh, like I said, people, you can see I have a loop here for this, for this, uh, mud handle. You can put it on your handlebars. You can put these anywhere. You can put these even on a bike handle and you can carry, you know, uh, cause you guys didn't see that when I did that up there. You guys couldn't see when I did that up there. Let me show you what I did up there. You guys are probably, what's he talking about? Put it on the handlebars. So you could put it on the handlebar up here. You, this, this, this one will go anywhere on the machine so uh sorry about that i didn't realize i'm just like talking thinking you guys can see everything but anyhow let's get this get this on here so i'm going to put it this way like i said you take your your loop here uh actually i'm doing that wrong so this would go this way and you take your loop because this is the way i want to go and you take your loop and put it through the holes You guys can see all this can you guys see all that nope you can't so let's get you guys moved around here get you where you can see it better maybe get you guys over here even i'm just trying to get you guys where you can see what i'm doing Let me see what that looks like. Be able to see it right there. So I got that in there. I can show it again. So you just take your pieces, put this up against there. I don't know, my, my arm's probably in the way right there. Take this, put it there. Take your loop, put it in. Come back to this side. Get your nuts. Gives you two nuts for each one. I'm just gonna hand screw it in there. You can actually tip it up like that, I guess, until you get them on there. I don't know what I'm having issues with. Operator malfunction. So, at least get those started down there. And then you can spin it back. You're gonna kinda have to eyeball it, you know, because this is how these, this one is. You're gonna have to eyeball what you think is straight up and down on it i think that looks pretty good then you take your wrench i'm actually going to slide mine over a little bit more i want it to be as far out as possible so right there then you take your wrench and start tightening Now, make sure you're trying to tighten both about the same time. That's how these U-bolts uh, work. You wanna try to not just tighten one side more than the other. So once again, I'm just checking again to make sure it looks straight. Hoping you guys are seeing everything, what I'm doing, yeah, just make sure it looks straight. And so those are already super tight. I don't want to over tighten it. You can bust these U-bolts, so keep that in mind. You don't want to get too crazy on how tight they go. And you can feel it. I mean, if I can, I'm moving the machine. That's pretty darn tight already. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more. Once again, 
be careful just to do a little bit more. Sometimes that little bit more will just snap it. The bottom one is the one that feels looser than anything. I don't know why, but it does. So there we go. So then they put these other nuts on. People go, why do they give you two sets of nuts? It's, it locks down the nut in front of it. Just a little bit of added protection so it doesn't come loose. So you just put the other nut on there. Some people would put two wrenches and do it. I, I'm not gonna do that. You just gotta be careful to make sure you only got it on the outer nut now to make sure you tighten it on there to lock it on. And you'll know you did right because the nuts will be offset from one another. So let's get the other side on real quick. It's locked on there. All righty, let's get these off. And took these off. Let's get some gun in here and see how it looks. Two things, that's how you want it in there. That's how I want it to be held inside of the, the holder. So. so once again, that's how I would do it, the bow. Let me see how that looks. Yep, I like that. Take a picture of that. Maybe zoom in a little bit. So, hoping that took a picture, zoom back out. So let's go get the rifle and see how that looks real quick. So now this is just a shotgun, but you can use any rifle, even with a scope on it. So let's see how that goes in there, how we would like that. Usually they're meant to go upside down. Yep. See how that looks. Yep, like it. So let me zoom in on that one a little bit. Take a picture, zoom back out. So everybody, there you go, there you have it. There's the gun holder for, uh, made by Kimi Mode. Like I said, the link's in the description. Uh, can't remember, I know it's in the 20s, like 25. I know it's not over $30 for, for this set. So I think it's in the, in the low 20s. But uh, like I said, the link's in the description. Go check it out. I like it. Like I said, uh, I, I, I picked it for the reasons at the beginning. And I also had already gotten my nephew the same set, so I knew how it was going to work. Uh, he just has the Honda Rancher, and I have the Foreman, and our bars just sit a little differently on this front rack. Actually, I don't think they do. I think it's actually the same front top rack. I just messed up. So why am I lying? I just, I just messed up when I put it on. So now we it's the right way. 
you know, people are probably going, will my scope fit? Yes, it should fit right there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good. So go try them out. Like I said, it's very inexpensive. It looks like high quality metal. Uh, looks like it could be stainless steel down here. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to have them. So everybody keep the powder dry and thanks for watching. God bless.